give it to the white car, Paula. You got eyes on it, Paula? Good deal. Okay, guys, we're ready. Let's break it. Five is over. Let's break it. Okay. Westbound plumber, turning westbound plumber from Woodman. It's a female driver. You got eyes on it, right, Paula? Okay, just look for the airship. Look for the airship. Beautiful shot there. Beautiful shot. Let's do it, guys. We're ready. New strap of four alphas over this pursuit here in the San Fernando Valley. Bring it on. Hold on, I gotta get my white balance here. That ain't right. Go down to 56. There we go. We good, we good. Talk to me, guys. Talk to me, Booth. Here we go, here we go. New strap of four over this pursuit here. Do we know what the want is? Going in a tracking mode, going in a tracking mode. Give me a little closer to a polar place. You got eyes on it, right? You got the airship inside, right? Beautiful. She's straight southbound on Sepulveda. Southbound Sepulveda from Plumber, guys. Southbound Sepulveda. What are we doing, guys? Hey, desk, what are we doing? Are we going on? Hey, Booth, anybody there? North Hills, North Hills. North Hills, North Hills. Here we go. We're in the North Hills area. North Hills area, the news chapel four over pursuit here in the San Fernando Valley going southbound on Langdon. Southbound on Langdon. We understand it is a female driver. You still got eyes on her, right? Coming out to Nordoff, guys. Coming out to Nordoff. We're coming into the Van Nuys North Hills area. I do have the IFB. Let's bring it on. Bring it on, guys. Southbound Langdon at Nordoff. Going westbound Nordoff. Here we go. I got IFB, yes. Hello, hello. I responded. We're not in Santa Monica. We're in the North Hills. North Hills, Van Nuys. Hello, Studio A. Hello, 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 hello. As Gary Delabati would say, hello, 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 we're with you. We're over Van Nuys, guys, over Van Nuys now, my friends. Right by Van Nuys Airport, if you want uh, an exact area. Just north of Van Nuys Airport. Des, give me a shout out. What's the original want for? Do you know the original want? We're with you guys whenever you're ready, whenever you're ready. Assault with the deadly weapon. Okay, beautiful. Assault with the deadly weapon. Beautiful. Thank you. Hey, Booth. What's going on? What are we going to do? New Chapter 4 over pursuit right now. We're in the Van Nuys area. This is an assault with a deadly weapon suspect right now. Now we're turning northbound. We're turning northbound here, right off of Nordoff here. Woodley. I got you. Hello. Hello. Do you have me? Guys, you have us, right? Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's, what are we doing? What are we doing? Are we gonna go on? Roger. Roger, on the web, on the web, roger that. Thank you, New Shop 4 Alpha, we were pursued here in the San Fernando Valley. This is earlier in a tracking mode because of the dangerous speeds of this pursuit right now. Currently, we're just west of the 405 freeway going northbound on uh, Woodley, going northbound on Woodley here, following this vehicle here. Coming up on Roscoe Boulevard, I believe you've got a red light here. Got a red light. Going to see what she's going to do. She slowly goes through that intersection. My goodness, those vehicles were traveling fast. They're just passing Lassen Avenue. So we're headed towards the Chatsworth, the North Hills, Granada Hills area. Northbound on Woodley Avenue, northbound Woodley Avenue, headed towards the 118 freeway. You can see this vehicle traveling at a high rate of speed right now. Let me bring this up here. Bring up my compass. Hold on. Where's my compass? I don't like that one. Speedometer. Here we go. Coming up on this intersection right here. That is Devonshire making a right turn on Devonshire, which means now she is going 
eastbound on Devonshire, heading back toward the 405 freeway. High rate of speeds, dangerous pursuit here in the San Fernando Valley. LAPD overhead with the helicopter as well as units down below. However, they are what they call in a tracking mode right now. LAPD officers on the ground are keeping their distance, hoping that will slow this person down. But we see very erratic speeds, erratic driving, which is a very dangerous situation. That's the shadow of the LAPD helicopter as she's driving through the center divider there, center medium, going on the wrong side of the road to make that northbound turn. That's Haskell Avenue turning northbound on Haskell here. Looks like she may be stopping. Paula, get that tree out of my way. Get that tree out of my way. Get that tree out of my way. Thank you. Suspect is running. She is running. Female is running. Here we go. You got eyes on her, Paula? She's running. She's running through the parking lot there. Pollard, you got eyes on her? Okay, but good deal. She's not going to get far here. This is right off of Haskell. LAPD officers are coming to get her. She's going to get tackled here in one second. Got to give me a round, Pollard. Got to give me a round, my friend. Beautiful, beautiful. This is beautiful right there. You can see she's stopping. LAPD officers, here they go. Coming to attack her. Oh, great. There we go. Took her down. Female says, but she was also carrying a dog, it looked like. I thought she had something in her hand. She had that small dog, so she ran out of her vehicle with the dog, set the dog down moments before LAPD officers tackled her. This is perfect, thank you. You can see they've taken this female suspect into custody. This is an alley here just right off of Haskell, just off of Devonshire, and that is her dog who is staying next to her. See how LAPD officers handle this situation. Now they have to retrieve the suspect, but they also most likely will want to get her dog that's running right in this area. Perfect, Paula. That was perfect. Thank you. So now they're getting the suspect. Now they're going to take her to the awaiting police vehicle here. We still have her dog. Uh, hopefully they will get her animal for her as well. You can see that's uh, LAPD units from the North Hollywood Division. They were the primary units in this pursuit. Pursuit lasted for about 12 minutes. News Chopper 4 Alpha was over it just moments after it started in the San Fernando Valley. You can see they're taking off her uh, uh, articles right now as far as they're going to call for a female officer and do a search and make sure she has no weapons or anything of that nature. I'm concerned about her dog that she, uh, it says she had in her hand uh, when she was running. So the dog took off. Hopefully uh, that dog will come back so they can uh, get her animal and take it to a safe place. Right now, pursuit come to an end here. We'll show you where we are. This is Haskell Avenue. Haskell Avenue, just north of Devonshire is where this pursuit ended in this neighborhood. Beautiful. Uh, let me look for the dog. Paula, give me to the other side. I'm going to look for her, that dog. Give me on the other side of the uh, alley so I can see the other side, please. Hold on, guys. I'll, I'll get it for you. Nice and easy. I'm just going to look for the dog here. Nice and easy. Poor dog just... I don't think it ran this far. I'm gonna just look, see up the alley here, stand by. Okay, right here is good, I'm gonna... Sh right now we're just looking to see if we can see that dog that belonged to the female suspect in this LAPD pursuit here. Unfortunately, the dog is, is scared and ran. Haskell, north of Devonshire. So far, no joy, guys. See the suspect now. She's just been taken into the vehicle here. Okay, I'm turning off the IFB, guys. If you need to talk to me. Actually, I'll keep the volume on low. Yes. 
six Adam George Sam six eight zero. Six Adam George Sam six eight zero. That should be the license plate of the vehicle. Vehicle's expired. My dog is gone. What the hell just happened here? Are they trying to get the dog here? What's going on? <clears throat> somebody get, somebody get hit. Pollard, get that pole, get that pole out of my way, please. There's the dog. Okay, guys, I got the dog. The dog's running on uh, on uh, on Dempsey here. Hold on, people are trying to get the dog. Okay, Pollard. So I'm shooting 12 o'clock. People are trying to get the dog here. We'll film. You see my picture there? Okay, get that power pull when you can get a chance out of my way. I know you're moving. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, it was working this morning. Did it go off? So what you're seeing right now, this is Dempsey Avenue. I believe this is Dempsey Avenue. This is the female suspect's dog that was seen running. And you have some bystanders here who are trying to retrieve that dog. Uh, you can see that gentleman. Push me forward a little more if you can. Thank you so much. You can see he's getting under the car. Somebody gave him a leash. So it's good that the attention is being uh, taken right here. This is the intersection right here. Dempsey and San Jose Street. Dempsey and San Jose Street. So this guy right here is trying to uh, lasso the dog. You can see LAPD motor officer assisting as well. It's kind of good that they pay attention to this. Not only do they have a suspect in custody, they're also taking the time and effort to try to retrieve her dog. Can push me forward just a little more. I kind of still got some of those pulls there. Those wires here. Okay, we're clear of the wires now, right here. Thank you so much. Thank you. A little bugger's not wanting to come out right now, hiding under the car. You can see all the people and all the commotion that it's causing here. Okay, okay, okay. Right here is perfect, thank you. It's all the activity here. Dog kind of ran a distance to give you an idea. Here's the end of the pursuit over here. Suspect ran with her dog through this alley, was apprehended by law enforcement officials. Dog was confused, scared, kept on running, ran up to the street, that's San Jose Street, and actually Haskell. San Jose and Haskell is where this is taking place. Okay. Desk, I'm assuming you want us to stay on this. Um, I think somebody may have, is that the dog? I think she got the dog. Maybe not. No, that's her dog. Well, we've got so many dogs running around here. So the dog's still under there. Did you want us to stay on this? Roger. Okay, copy that on the phone with the LAPD. 
Obviously, this gentleman down here is a uh, bystander here trying to uh, get this dog here that was involved in the pursuit. You know, not only did this lady put her life, officers' lives, as well as innocent people, now you know, have a situation where you have an animal who does not understand what's happening. The dog is terrified right now. All the commotion with the sound of the sirens, uh, helicopters, people trying to get this dog. There's a little doggy right there. Oh, a little puppy right there. Yeah. <laughs> now they're calling for paramedics for the female, approximately 50 years of age, complaining of some pain to her leg or something. Here's, really? There's going to be one famous dog. There's the doggy. Let's see how the dog is going to. Uh, <sighs> We're on Haskell here, just north of San Jose. Haskell, just north of San Jose here. You've got the media down there. You think that's one of yours? There's the little doggy right there, running by everybody. How many people does it take to catch a dog? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight people down there right now, including the media. Eight individuals taking their time out of the day trying to retrieve this little dog that was involved in a pursuit. Owner got out of the vehicle and was running with the dog in hand. They've got this car surrounded. No doubt that dog is terrified. I'll be amazed if nobody gets bit. You okay, Pollard? Oh, where'd the dog go? Where'd the dog go? This guy right there has been really doing diligently working to getting this uh, dog here. Coordinated team effort. That does look like, uh, isn't that one of yours, uh, Tim? Isn't that one of us? Yeah, it is. I see the four. Yeah, I see the four, Mike. Uh-oh, there goes a the doggy. Go forward, Pollard. Go forward. The little doggy's running. We're running northbound on Haskell. Now we're pursuing the dog. Now we're kind of just keeping an eye. Everybody's really working together trying to get this dog. You can see this dog is just... <laughs> I mean, we're covering the pursuit. Now we're covering the, the retrieval of this dog, hiding under this car now. It doesn't help when folks are running and chasing the dog. Obviously, they're, they're really trying to help, but I just don't want to see that dog run out and Okay. You see which car he's under? Your yeah, eyes, okay. It's on your side, so you're my eyes. <laughs> it's just very nerve wracking when the dog starts running out in the streets here with these cars traveling. Looks like Joel Cook. Is that him? Yeah, yeah, that's the beard. So you can see again the coordinated effort here. People are trying to work together here as uh, they're LAPD. They're LAPD inquiring about the dog now. <laughs> Who 
fact is, water and power on scene right now. Pulling over, at least kind of keeping traffic away, but he's probably going to carry on. Is it this guy right here? This guy's your hero of the week right there. This gentleman, I don't know where he came from, but this guy right here has been really working hard trying to get this dog here. And that's what first caught my attention is he was under a utility truck vehicle. I thought there was an accident involving a, a pedestrian, but this guy was under a vehicle in the middle of Haskell and San Jose trying to get the dog. And you can see uh, the coordinated efforts here. We have an NBC photographer down there filming the dog, but also acting as a, a barrier for the sep uh, end of that vehicle there, the rear of the car. No doubt that little dog is scared here. Pursuit here ended in the San Fernando Valley. Now it's a pursuit of a little dog, essentially, where LAPD officers are allowing these citizens to try to retrieve this female suspect's dog. She's been taken into custody. They are requesting the paramedics to assist her, complaining of some minor leg pain. However, she was taken in without incident. Short foot pursuit ensued. As always, foot pursuits don't last too long, so the female suspect taken into custody, and you can see these gentlemen here, including an NBC News photographer, trying to uh, lure the dog out from underneath the vehicle. And this guy here in the orange shoes has just been really doing a tremendous job, tremendous effort here, trying to get that dog out safely. I'm just amazed if nobody gets bit. We're on Haskell Avenue, just south of uh, Chatsworth Street, I believe it is, uh, just south of the 118. Uh, the pursuit ended right off of uh, Haskell and um, Nordoff, I think. I'm gonna look real quick, see who else is around here. See the NBC4 van there, I don't see, uh, there's that motor officer. <clears throat> so we got the motor officer there to kinda keep an eye and make sure. Uh, I mean, that guy is underneath the car. Are we okay right here? We're gonna give it to me? I'm okay, but, uh, oh yeah, whatever. Uh, just watch that tree. That tree's gonna take away from my shot. Do you have to give it to me? Do you want do you want to keep it? It's easier if it's on your side. Okay. You got four individuals right now trying to uh uh get this uh dog out from underneath this vehicle. Who dad? That's another person, I don't know if that was a reporter. And you can see LA, our, um, these uh, uh, bystanders here uh, saw this dog running. They saw all the commotion. Uh, they took the time to uh, try to assist um, and apprehend this uh, dog who belongs to a female suspect who was involved in an LAPD pursuit in the San Fernando Valley which actually went into a tracking mode because uh, it was uh, so erratic and the speeds were dangerous. LAPD elected to uh, monitor the pursuit from the helicopter and put it in a tracking mode. Uh, the suspect did pull over, Nordoff and Haskell. She got out of the vehicle. She grabbed her dog. It was actually hard to see what she had in her hand, but she was running. And then when LAPD officers pulled up next to her, she, she dropped the dog or more, more essentially set it down. 
and officers tackled this female suspect and took her into custody, and there goes the dog again. Now the dog is running. Oh, under a new car. Oh, that door was open. Maybe the dog went into the door. Okay. I just get nervous seeing a dog run on a busy street. There we go, running across the street. Oh my goodness, this is... Yeah, hold on, hold on. He's running up this driveway. Keep me right here. I mean, this is literally a pursuit of a... Oh, okay, now this... There we go. This dog is... This dog is like, I'm out of here. Okay, so the dog's somewhere in this yard here. You know, and these people may be able to uh, get the dog in a corner here. Well, the good news is it's a, it's an enclosed yard here, so we're trying to see. Here is the individual. People are coming up into the yard here. Kind of keeping a wide shot so I can see if the dog runs. I mean, it's pretty. Oh, there we go. We've got people down here. I don't know if they're looking. I think the dog's hiding right in here. Well, efforts were made. People are going into this yard here. A dog has to be in that yard. This house here, this is right off of Haskell, just south of Kingsbury Street. Haskell and Kingsbury. It's 40549 Haskell, 40549 Haskell. According to that LAPD motor officer down below, he's saying it ran into a preschool area. So I'm not sure what this building is, if this is a home or somebody who just has a lavish preschool play yard. So LAPD is still not giving up right now, as well as uh, the people down below. Everybody else still here, Pollard? Okay. Guy in the red shorts, give me to the front. Give me to the front of the uh, continue your circle with a little bit more speed. Thank you, Tim. Uh, apparently, I'm being told right now that uh, walking out to the tree next to the motor officer. Yeah, motor officer's right out here. Once we get around this tree, you'll be able to see that gentleman who uh, had been working diligently. Uh, has the dog now from what I'm being told so we're coming around here in a second we've got our ground crew so you'll be able to see that footage later here on NBC4 News coming up at four o'clock but right now we're going to show you this guy here I mean by far if I see the dog and this guy as I said earlier the one in the orange shoes is the hero of the week this guy just put in tremendous effort trying to get this dog. And uh, you can see, are you sure? Yeah, he has the dog. Look at him holding the dog upside down. And and so I'm being told that this uh, gentleman may have been bit by retrieving the dog. But uh, that right there is, uh, is a really good person there who worked hard to make sure this dog uh, you know, in the long run, we'll get back to its owner, but uh, dog, Elite Pollard, let's start setting me up here for a steady shot, please. Yeah, you can see he has a bloody hand. And again, that's our cameraman there, so you'll be able to see more of this story coming up on the NBC4 News at 4 o'clock here. But you can see this gentleman here got bit. 
retrieving this poor little dog here, and the dog was scared. I mean, I've never covered a pursuit where we're now we're covering the pursuit and the apprehension of a dog, but he's uh, being interviewed right now talking. To watch more heart stopping car chases happening across Southern California, subscribe here. Thanks for watching. The chase is on.